All right. We need. I need a new person. I need somebody who doesn't have an evil. Well, I mean, you can still do evil clone if you want. I need. I need a new. I need a new person. Bloody, you were here. Bloody, you want to do it? Ooh, I'm drinking some water. Oh, let me do. I'll, I'll run the ads and I'll check on the cat and then I'll come back. And oh, so okay, Planto. Oh, Planto. Let's do it. Oh, let me make this character real quick. Okay, so do you want to be true kin or human? And we'll, we're literally just going to name it Bloody Mirror Tube. Mutant? Okay, great. Um, what's up, Volt? So I'll keep talking from the classes I was explaining, and you can tell me what, what you dig. Uh, we were looking at Pilgrim. Okay, so Nomad is Toughness. Wayfaring, Wilderness Lore, Harvestry. Eh, nomads. Eh. Reputation with the tri... Eh. This is Caves of Cud. Uh, it's old school RPG, but like, it's been worked on for like the last 15 years. It's pretty hype. Scholar is intelligence, tinkering, first aid, heal, tactics, custom folklore. So, I guess like a take your time, know the world, tinker. Oh, uh, it used to be free. I, I got it on Steam way back. I think it's 20 bucks. I think I got it for like $10 on sale or something. Um, but it's like one of those like play forever games, uh, but I'm sure there's probably still an old version of it out for free um, It's kind of like maybe Dwarf Fortress or something where like they have a better version on Steam like they worked on um, So if you're into role-playing and making characters and stuff and this has some crazy buffs and cool things so warden is um, Two strength long blade shield so sword and sword and board shield slam bow rifle. Oh for toughness. I think warden might be uh, shield slam bow and rifle pistol that's pretty good or at least for like the way that I know how to play the game you know ego short blade snake oiler reputation with water barons I think water barons are probably not good people yeah yeah exactly the the role play that's what it's about allow entrance to many settlements for purposes of trade start to trade goods I don't know about all that water vine farmer you were talking about toughness this is cooking gathering harvestry axe this might fit uh, what you wanted bloody is toughness water vine farmer water vine sounds good so we're gonna get some random cooking greens so we're gonna really get into cooking this time so do you feel like you want more mental or physical and we just didn't level up enough for unstable genome to pop off for us but it should have been good chimera i love it mm. so let's see as a tough i feel like you're gonna say some i'm gonna make guesses i feel like you might say carapace um you might say multiple arms um, let's see. Two-hearted, what is this? Mental actions? Man. Oh, two-hearted, let's see. Quills? Let's see. Great. Hundreds of nail-pointed quills cover your body. 300 quills, 10% of your quills. Okay, so you have 10, so 10 shots of 30 quills at 1d3. This is hype. Two armor value as long as you retain half. That's incredible. So this is a ranged attack plus armor? That's really good. Two heads? That sounds cool. Mental actions, 20% lower. 50% chance initially each round to shake off. Oh, cool. So you... You, wow. So basically one of your heads, oh, basking? Is that the sun one? I've heard of that. Um, it's like the, is it photosynthetic skin? Is that what it is? Well, oh, regeneration, let's see. Your natural healing rate applies in combat. 20% faster healing rate, 10%. Oh, you can regrow your arms. Yeah, you can get your arms and stuff cut off for sure. Okay, great. So we've got quills, regeneration, two-headed. Wow, this seems pretty good. We're gonna. Oh, I must actually. Here we go. Regeneration. So I hit end to go to the next screen. Stats. Um. Let's see. So toughness. You said. So probably like a two in toughness. I'm assuming you don't want z you know, negatives. I'm not sure. I'm just kind of put, put things up a little. Oh, we need photosynthetic. So we gotta take. Let me go back. So we gotta probably take some negatives. So photosynthetic skin would be two. So we need a negative. Um, carnivorous meat exclusively. No station for foods that aren't meat. Uh, nerve poppy. This, oh, interesting. You lack a developed sense of pain. You only know your general state of health and not your precise number. That's interesting. That'll probably definitely kill you. Uh, nerve poppy. Cool. I'm down for it. Nerve poppy and photosynthesis. Okay, so 
definitely you're like a tanky stand there person is what I'm thinking. What is it? Like 19 agility is probably good for skills. I'm just kind of putting things. You can, of course, tell me exactly where you want things. Oh, our ego. Rip. Probably, you probably want plus one, I'm assuming, for accuracy. For mental, for physical mutations, I know ego does benefit. I'll let, I'll let, uh, I'll let the pro here let me know. This is maybe what I would kind of, maybe you move intelligence for will, I'm not sure. This kind of looks a, I maybe I would lower, hmm, maybe I'd lower will more to put this, I'm not sure. What's important to you? But I'm just kind of guessing. Toughness, some more toughness, all right. I feel like you probably don't want to drop too much in that. Let's see. Cool, we can go to 12 here. I need more points. Toughness, beefy monster. Let's see. I'm I'm trying to, you know, as they say, min max here. Here we go. That's pretty beef. That's a beefcake. And I th mm -hmm. I think we'll drop this. Maybe we drop one point into that. Oh, man. Okay, that's 18. That's still that. Just making sure these are, like, at the good cutoffs. So with two points here, that's not it. Yeah, I guess just keep the ego. Hey, what's up? I'm watching you. <laughs> oh, I got... I'm going to make a kiss command just for you. I promise. Next time you do that, I'm going to have it there. Unless I forgot. And then I'll say, next time I promise. And we'll get in this loop for a while. Okay, so we're going to do that. So we're pretty beefy. We'll be able to hit, you know, for a little bit of bonus. And so, like, even we looked at that cudgel. So even if we were, like, staff, we would get the bonus. I'm doing great. I'm, uh, I'm enjoying this game. We got... We got some cool people. We're chatting. We're building characters. We grow even more body parts. So here's a final look at our character. We're a water fine farmer, mutated humanoid, chimera, so physical Workout. mutations. This Play is us. Rest. We're working out. You know, eat your green vegetables. Oh, That's I... what my mom is always saying. I just never actually believed her. Oh, I did do that. I see. Look, I did. So I'll do a. I told I'm watching you. He he he. That I'd add an I kiss. So kisses, and it'll be really long and complicated, just for you. Okay, I think we're big, strong, good vegetable redeem, and then this is going to be, this is bloody, bloody YouTube. I do believe you will, you, you're, I'm gonna, I'm definitely gonna take a picture and I'll put it in the, the about me section. We'll have the high score for this. I'm assuming you're gonna make it past Sean the Owl, and we're going back to Joppa. So we're gonna start doing less reading as we know more of it already, right? I'm not gonna read to you the same thing, you know. We know what this is already. We're going to start to speed up those parts. So we're going to press 2 twice and pick that. We're going to press that. Bop, bop. We got lost. That's unfortunate, but we're okay. If you press W, you can walk in a direction. So we're just going to keep heading north. Um, oh, there's an alligator here trying to mess with us. I press A to look at our skills. So we've got bask. Bask in the sunlight and absorb the sun's nourishing rays. Plus 20%. That's crazy. So I guess do it. We're basking. Start to metabolize the meal. Oh, great. You get 15 quickness. This is a really good skill. 15 quickness and 30% natural healing rate. We're going to use it to fight this alligator. Let's, let's take a look. New enemy, wet croc. So you'll notice there's always going to be modifiers, bloody, wet, etc. Whatever they're wading through or what's going on, it's going to change for that. Well, plants aren't the smartest. That's great. Oh, I love those dancing. That's cold of the lamb, right? Carol Baskin in the sun. Uh, her hoary? What is not hoary? Is that hoary? How do you say that? Hoary, her, <laughs> her hoary cracked scales. I've I've never. I gotta look that word up. I know it's. It's we're learning today. Hor grayish white. Hoary cobwebs. Okay, old and trite. That hoary American notion that bigger is better. Okay. Hey, we learned today. Okay, so we're gonna kill the hoary crocodile. That's funny. Okay, so we're gonna target it. Okay, we we will shoot our quills. I'm shoot. Oh, I flung him everywhere. I was hoping it would be more of like a targeting thing. We just kind of shot him everywhere. I'm gonna press five to let it take turns to come to me. Let's try it at one. Ooh, we still missed. Okay, 
Well, I got a couple more shots of it. Let's. Oop, well, we we did not. We did not. Let's try Quill's Glen. Quill. Okay. It's not. Uh, it's not hidden. So we're gonna just use it as armor. Wow. It hits for six. That sucks. Okay. We have defeated the crocodile. I'm gonna press. Uh, what is it? Tilda. To wait until healed. Rest till healed, and we'll get back to it. Oh, let me describe what these guys are here. We've got a. We got some paddles here. These are wet glowfish. Luminescent flex flit beneath the wet or the water's surface. So they're docile and they can bite. You can also have like legendary monsters. So I've, I've like talked to one of those before. It was like a legendary glowfish. Okay, we are still in a salt marsh. Oh, there's a croc. I'm gonna press alt so I can see it. Hello, crocodile. Um, our quills, we have 248 left. I wonder how they come back or if they do or not, you know. Let me make sure our limb is set. Okay, we do have our primary set. Okay, great. Crocodile. Okay, we hit for four, we hit for three. Um. Oh, the croc impales herself on your quills. So it's, um, what is it, spiky armor? So it took, I'm assuming is that enemies maybe or always do in physical range take, take damage for hitting us. So nothing happened, we hit for one. Yep. Looks like every time they do damage. So it did one to us, and it did one to itself. That's great. It hit us for seven. That's horrifying. I'm gonna back up. Okay, we're green again. Notice our character changes color based on how well we're doing. I'm just gonna let this crocodile walk to me. There we go. And I'm just pressing five and letting it take whatever path it wants to take to get to me. Doesn't bother me. Just making sure that I always basically dance in such a way with the crocodile to get first hit. Got another crocodile over here. Okay, we'll continue to do what we've been doing. Wait for our first hit. One, one. Okay. So, a couple things happen right there. So, we cleave through the croc's armor. Everybody has an armor and dodge value just like you. I like to think about games like this as everybody's a character just like you. You could make yourself an alligator, you know. Oh, they regenerate automatically. Great. So if we press A, this should be 251. I feel like it was like 254. I mean, it's probably over time really slow. Um, maybe it's like one a turn or something. Okay, so let's get back to slapping this. But we cleave through the Croc's armor, so now we have an easier time doing damage. Oh, uh, one, two. We hit it for five. Great. We've killed it, leveled up. We're now level two. Six hit points, which is three times as much as what we were getting last time. So don't know how the quills are shot. Yeah. So I keep trying to do it one range. It might be a. It might be every t tile around us. You know. Again, talking about the nine number pad, where we are five. I think it might be one. You know, circle around us like a minesweeper. Um, but we. Ha I haven't been able to hit with them yet. But the armor is great, and the. I can't remember what is that called. Is it just spiky armor? Generally, whenever you hit something, and like I'm thinking of inscription. If you played the card game inscription. Uh, it's got the... What is that called in Inscription? You know, it's like one damage with a little spike. It's like on certain cards. Thornmail. Yeah, essentially. There's a League of Legends player right there. Um, oh, yeah. Re yep, it reflects that damage. Uh, so we got 74 skill points and mutation point. And uh, feel free if you have an... You know, if there's like... Oh, I think quills are great. You know, like... If there's a... Uh, I'll basically... I would love to let you do the mutation points. So if there's something you really like leveling up, you let me know. Oh, butchery. I think I'm going to pick up butchery because we're going to go crazy cook. So we're going to have harvest and butchery. So I'm giving up a little bit of combat potential right now to, I guess, hopefully buff us in the future. And right now, as we're walking around, we're passing uh, water vines and we're harvesting uh, vine wafers. So whenever we, this is like the, the harvestry portion. Whenever we pass over meat, corpses, you know, things like that, we will be doing butchery portion. Went outside and saw the fattest bee. Okay, so we've traveled to Red Rock. The baboons are here. Important to hold alt and see how many enemies really are trying to hurt you. Also, when we go back to the other tile, these baboons are still going to be mad at us. So they're going to come hang out. You can get hit off the tile too. Okay. We're pretty close to these guys. Yep, those quills are coming back for sure. That's great. So I'm going to go off this tile. So I'm actually fighting that baboon even though we're not on the same tile. You can see. Oh, photo skin, right? Let's do our bask. 
Oh, I can't do it with people near me, so let me run. I'm running. So just crossing the river. We're gonna have to put a torch on too. So let's put a torch on. So now we'll be able to see again. Let me bask. Oh, it's nighttime. Rip. I ripped it. Alright. I see you, baboons. Don't throw rocks at me. Okay. Oh, it hit me for four. We have um some heals. We have heals if we need it. I'm looking. Where are you? Oh, there it is. Okay, great. We killed it. Level three. Eight hit points. That's crazy. Bloody, this is like the most health. It's so funny. We can't even see the number, right? So we just got to remember. So it was six and then eight. So we know we have at least 14 hit points. Because remember, we have the, the pain thing. So we don't know, you know, essentially what our starting health was. Um, taking a guess, let's just say it's 20. So now we're at 34 at level three. But I would not count on that. I would count on what you know. And like, so if you get hit for 34 and you're alive, you know you have at least 34 health. So eight hit points, 74 skill points, a mutation and an attribute. So with these cutoffs, so 18 is plus one. So we need 16s to go to 18 for a plus one. This needs to go to 14 for a minus one. Hmm. Mm. Upgrade photo and quills on it. I think that's a good idea. So we're gonna get 80 plus 80 to 120 quills. You make spell 10% again. Yep. It's a burst around your stuff. Okay. So it's it's a half a quill per round currently a quarter. Two armor value. Yep. Okay. So quills are upgraded and then photosynthetic skill. Let me read this so I understand it better. You can bask in the sunlight instead of eating a meal to gain special metabolizing effect for one day. 40% natural healing. That's great. And 17 quickness. You accrue starch and lignin that you can use as ingredients in meals. This is going to work really well with our cooking. Bloody good call. So this is... I was afraid that this would not mesh with our cooking. That we had to maybe pick one or the other. But this looks like it's going to work together. We're going to grow stuff. So we get one dodge value occupying the same space as foliage. That's pretty cool. And 200 reputation with roots, trees, blah, 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 blah. Hopefully those things stop killing us. Okay. And then we've got an attribute point. I mean, I guess you you probably need 26 for toughness. I, I would say I'd probably... Looking off skills, but I'd probably start going to maybe toughness. Not sure. If you're... Because we're an axe character, so like... You're going to want 19 strength for cleave. Um, yo, what's up, Palm? Dude, cut... This game is so much fun. Um, let's see. Tactics... How you doing, Palm? I, I saw you doing Elden Ring the other day. Palm here is a streamer. He is doing, like, making a badass rug. And it's like a rug giveaway. So if you guys want to follow uh, 93 Palm here, you'll automatically enter yourself into his rug giveaway. So, you know, it's like a ticket entry. Um, and he's also nice, too. So even better than a ticket entry, it's a good person. It's like a bonus. Played it for a bit but never got super into it. Oh, yeah, dude. I love these weird-ass games. Um, da, 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 da. so mm, charge is pretty good 17 strength so I'm going to go with tactics to set up to get charge and I think we got to upgrade our strength because we're going to want to get uh, like cleave and things like that so we'll get cleave on our next level up oh happy to do it man okay let's oh my god let's look for these monkeys okay we got a scary one to the right Okay, so to our east, we have a shrewd baboon. Wet nostrils flare at the seat of his dropped snout, and the flurry, oh, and furry arms wave in unpredicted motions. His eyes are full of stony mischief. I see the stony mischief. The stony sh mischief. So I'm using this tree that's right here to kind of hide around it. Uh, I don't think they can hit us like through the tree, so I'm kind of using his cover. I would like to kill the weaker baboon if I could. You know. Oh my God! There's so many. Uh, if you were worried about dying here, oh my god, these monkeys. Uh, I would recommend just waiting until morning. Like, go rest. Uh, especially because we're going to benefit so much from fighting during the day. Ah, uh, found you. Alright. Let's make a camp. Uh, camp, boom. I think, yeah, we can definitely cook some stuff. So first we'll pre preserve our fresh foods. Because I'm pretty sure we can't cook with them if they're not preserved. I could be wrong. Um, the vine wafer sheaths are now preserved. So there we go. I like to use what I have a lot of. 
So I'll add salt and vine wafer, and we're going to cook with that. So you gather whatever you can find for your meal, a dram of salt, some vine wafer, uh, some vine wafer sheaf, and a scribe's, sorry, and, and a scribe's feet. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you, Palm. I appreciate it. Charge. Yeah, so we're, we're going to pick up charge. And so Bloody's talking about a skill where, um, I talked about it earlier, if you have two spaces and you charge those two spaces, you automatically penetrate with your weapon, armor-wise. So it's kind of some guaranteed damage for... You know, when you are strength and have to get in and you're trying to trade, you want to make beneficial trades. Okay, so, yeah, we apparently found a scribe's feet and threw them into this pot with some salt and vine wafer sheet. So, we eat the meal. You start to metabolize the meal. Gaining the effects the following day, thirsting at half the rate. Okay. So, I'm actually going to... I'm going to back up. Oh, we're lost again. I was trying to go back to Joppa because I just want to—I just want it to be daytime. So we're gonna explore. I might have overshot Joppa. So when you get lost exploring on the big map, you have to regain your bearings. So you have to go a certain amount of tiles and stuff. So let's see. Uh, yep, I definitely missed Joppa. So I'm gonna go back down. So we're here at Joppa. It's morning. We can bask. Let me go to the merchant, which is what I should have done before. So we're gonna talk to the merchant Tam. I'm Bloody Mirror Tube. Who are you? I am Tam the Merchant. So it is a pleasure, friend Bloody Mirror Tube. I am Tam. Do you live here? Jop is my home, yes. Once I walked the Magrai, like so many of my brethren, but upon meeting Elder Iridad, I knew at once to settle down here. You will understand, friend, if you speak with him. That's what we didn't do last time. We didn't speak to him as Sean, and that's maybe why we died. Maybe tripping, but you feel like these graphics are much better. So, it's coming out soon. I don't know when 1.0 is happening, but if you know Dwarf Fortress, the publishers of Dwarf Fortress, or them, or whatever, they are teaming up with this game. They're all buddy. They're hanging out. So, um, it's going to be published with the Dwarf Fortress people, and it'll be 1.0 soon. Um, what kind of creature are you? I am a dromad, friend. A salt strider. My people have walked the salt for thousands of years, meeting every creature that lives and thinks. You will not find better, more resourceful traders in all of Cud than we. And let's trade with them. So, woven tuning. Book. We got blah, 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 blah. Farmer's token. Okay, we've got 30 bucks. So what can I do with 30 bucks? Boom, boom, boom. This bandage might not hurt. Can't do a ton. Oh, war weird artifacts. We haven't messed with that yet. But I want to buy these star apples because that will be fun. No, I won't do it. Uh, I just can't. But weird artifacts. We haven't gotten any of these yet. But we look. It says a puzzling artifact. It's probably like a grenade at $57. We just don't know what it is yet. Dwarf Fortress is rad. I I, I have seen people play the with the Steam version. And it looks so big brain for me. I, I don't. I've, I play RimWorld and stuff, but I, I just can't. I think Dwarf Fortress is above me. Um, but I thought about, you know... I would have to spend a lot of time with that game. That just looks hard. Um, one of the first games you were streaming, actually. Oh, really? Oh, that's so cool. I think when you played it, this graphics were primarily all keyboard symbols. Oh, wow. Yeah, this game has changed a lot. Spike gauntlets, leather armor, eh. So if you are a bow character, ranged, or if you're shotgun, slugs... Go hit this every time because merchants are going to refresh. So let's get going. So we're here. I spent all day traveling, so it's night again. I'm the worst at photosynthesis. Uh, let's go down. I think... Oh, man, I keep hitting the wrong thing. We're going to go down. Uh, if we find a bed down here, I'm just going to rest until morning. Go outside, bask, and then go back down. Like, there's no rush, you know? So I'm just pressing O to auto-explore. Now, man, if you can send me understand Dwarf Fortress, you can definitely figure it out. I think it'd be right up your... I love that emote, dude. That's so funny. I appreciate it. Wow, we're getting slayed. Um, but remember, we leveled up to level 2, 6 health, level 3, 8 health. So 14 health, we know we can at least take that. We took 7. Oh, we begin leaking. Oh, we're no, we're no longer leaking. That's great. Great to know. Let's hit the spider. Oh, we, we're just trading really low amounts of damage. Okay, we're fine now. So let's rest until healed using Tilda. Press O to auto explore again. I, I wanted to auto explore, it just started going a different way, so I'm doing it myself. Like sometimes you want to funnel it in the way you want to go. Um, I just don't want to press auto explore a lot. Okay, we are down here at the bottom level. So we're two strata deep, so we're on the second floor. 
I'm gonna hold alt, just make sure there's no enemies around me. So, because, I mean, this game's brutal. If you hold alt and you don't see there's enemies and you're moving, pop, 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 maybe they shoot you to the point that you can't even get out anymore. Um, so, you, you just gotta be careful. Auto Explorer is really nice because it slows down the game. It goes, hey, you're about to get hit, dingus. Okay, we've got a, a different kind of enemy right here. This is a slimy, wet, web-toed, snap-jaw scavenger. Hostile, easy. That's great to hear. Tussocks of fur, yep, da-da-da-da. What's the thing here? I'm going to assume web-toed means that it can swim. So it's like a modifier for this enemy. Well, now it's dead, so. Um, I want to... I want to loot their things. So pressing spacebar on top of the body, pressing 5 to loot the corpse. Moccasins way 1, it's a zero, 0 I mean, I guess we can pick it up to sell. Like, I pick up things to sell, even if it's, like, really cheap. As long as I have the weight, you know? It's like, you want to carry everything. So we got an enemy to our east and to our west. We have an easy one that we just killed, and we have a new one that looks a little scary. It's a Snapjaw Brute. So he's got a gentling cone and a slime stained iron vine reaper. So um, I've got cave walls to my side here. This is just like Underrail. I'm going to back up and I'm going to pull these guys into a tunnel. Appreciate it, Super Sour Punch. I'm going to pull these guys into a tunnel to where I can only ever get hit by one melee attack at a time. Uh, well, he walked around. So I'm going to go back this way. Okay, so... I have three tiles above me and three tiles below me. I'm in the middle and there's left and right covered. So this way I can attack in these six spots but only, you know, get attacked from those six spots. Just limiting where we can take incoming damage. So attacking that guy, he's now done. Now we're going to attack the opposite direction. Boom. He's still alive. That's not what I was hoping for. So I'm going to back up. Now there's two enemies. So now the two enemies can't hit me at the same time, right? So it's just one enemy. Boom, I'm gonna start trading again. So I win that fight. Back up. Press five, let my turn pass. Because we were one space away. If I move in, then he would attack. By letting him move in, now I attack. So now he's done. So that's navigating a couple enemies in a little passageway that way. Oh, Quills, boom, good point. Bloody's right, if I'd used Quills um, in the spot that I was sitting, that would hit those six slots, I would assume. So that's a great point. Um, what he's saying is really important here. You need to focus on your character and your character's strengths. I'm doing a poor job of utilizing our strengths. I'm playing this just like a a dumb brute, you know? So let's uh, let's get looting. So we've got a, a, a small smoky tube. We have to examine this. So we identified the small smoky tube as a skulk injector. This is a pretty good item. So let me read this to you. So there's injectors in this game. You can, you know, think of them as like, uh, you know, your hypodermic needles or whatever from like Fallout or, what, you know, your your, your Stimax, your medics, is all those. It's all just one injector in this game and what you put in it is what matters. So for 1,000 to 1,200 rounds, you get 25% move speed at night and underground, but in the day, it's reduced. Agility up at night, agility down at night. So it's like a... It's like a rogue cave shadow potion, essentially. That's the way to really think about it. Think of it as a potion. So we will get that. Oh, we're taking damage. So press an alt. I see there's an enemy there. Remove this. Take care of that snapjaw. We'll get back to loot in here. I'm just going to pick up these maces. we got a slimy wet frowning moon mask. I'm pretty sure we don't have anything on. Oh, we have two faces. Since we have two heads, we have two faces. So that's pretty fun. Uh, something's hit me, so I'm gonna go up. I'm not sure what, but let me just rest, get full health, and go back down. Oh, right, we found the enemy. This is a slimy, web-toed, snap-jaw shotgunner that was causing us the trouble. Let's try the quills. Quill fling. Oh, it did 13 damage. It hit this time. That's a great idea, bloody. It looks like it does it in a, a circle around us. That's pretty good. It's only level 2, I think, right? So level 2 Quill's hitting for 13. That's the first time we've seen it. I don't know if that's the high or the low, but I like it. So very fun character so far. 